Let's look at how these blanks can be filled. Sometimes you could use a preposition, you know, that is followed by a noun, adjective or a adverb. Example, good at languages, right? Here, at is the preposition. It could also be prepositional phrases. Prepositional phrases are a sentence that contains a preposition followed by a noun, adjective, right, etc. So you would say in spite of. Right? Sometimes there are a few prepositional phrases that are commonly used. So when you know such phrases, it will help you quickly answer the blank. It could also be an adverb. He moved to London two years ago. What are adverbs? Adverbs are words that modify the verb. Right? So here, ago is your adverb. Connectors. Connectors are words that help you connect two or more sentences, clauses or phrases. So without connectors, the sentence would be he arrives, he sits down, he leaves. Such sentence would not make sense. Hence, you need connectors like first he arrives, then he sits down, finally he leaves. So you could also have connectors in your blank. Could use conjunctions although right he is five he can speak five languages right an auxiliary verb he has one two matches sometimes the blank could simply be an article or some kind of a determin determiner example I have no time here no is the determiner right relative Bob who I met two years ago is my best friend. So you're trying to give the relationship between this person, right? How you know and when you've met him, right? It could be a pronoun, right? Either a subject's or a object's pronoun. It is difficult to know. It could also be a, there could also be a comparative or a superlative involved. She is taller than me. She is shorter than me etc so you can look at gaps or blanks in the given passage and try to analyze the sentence to understand which of them could be used to fill in the appropriate blank sometimes you might have sentences wherein you feel that the blank is unnecessary there you feel the sentence by itself makes complete sense right in such cases what you can do you can look at the sentence to understand if it could be filled with an adverb or a modal verb or if you could simply use another word to create or the emphasis in of the sentence or if you could change the emphasis of the sentence let's look at how you could do that so you could forget the adverb for a while and look at the statement he is late. It makes sense, right? But sometimes according to the context of the passage, you can use an adverb that is more relatable. You would say, he is always late. That's how you can fill the blank. They can swim well. It will make, I'm sorry, simply the sentence without a modal verb. They swim very well. It will make complete sense but sometimes when there is a blank you have to understand which modal verb you have to use according to the tense of the sentence here they can swim very well that modal verb makes sense if you look at this statement the problems are difficult without the emphasis of the word to the sentence still makes sense so what you can do you can add the word to, right? So the statement will become the problems are too difficult. So in cases when there is a blank and you are not quite sure because it feels appropriate without the blank, always look if you could fill it up with an adverb, right? Or a modal or simply a word that will help you give more emphasis to the 
sentence. 